magazines and things over the years. And I did start two documentaries that I didn't never finish, but I interviewed people for them. One, one was on spirituality and one was on fame. I went and I interviewed, um, it was so long ago, Hanson, the singing group when they were little boys. Wow. We were at, we were at an, an Oscar party and there was all Gloria, all Gloria Allred was there. I interviewed her and I interviewed Hanson and um, I was just so fascinated by what we were talking about the fame thing you know and um and what it did to does to us psychologically and so um but then I did one on spirituality and I interviewed some wonderful spiritual teachers and buddhist teachers and meditation teachers and authors and um so I loved interviewing people I love that uh so yeah I'll probably come for your job you can come from, you can <laughs> co-host. I actually had Gloria Allred on this podcast and I oh, you did. Her. It was like, you know, I don't like you talk about, I very rarely get, like, I was like a little, you know, I was like this Gloria sure. Allred, like, this is no, like, you better. If when was a question, this? Was uh, it during me two years? Cause she was like. I was right. It was like after that, it was after that, but it wasn't like yesterday. So it was not in the beginning right. of my career, but it was, you know, a good many, many shows ago. So I was still maybe. Greener. What did you talk to her about? Well, we definitely talked about the Netflix documentary. We talked about like, you know, just misperceptions and like a lot of her career and, hmm. you know, some of her cases and trying to remember, you know, just like, yeah. I mean, if I was, saw Gloria Allred coming from me. I mean, I would run. So just like yeah. that, like, you know, people yeah. are afraid of you. And like, I mean, I think she enjoys that. So, and just like, look, she's a badass, right? So just like, just she one of the those. First. She was the first out there to, when not everyone else was, you know, going after very powerful people. And she was standing up for women that didn't have a voice and no one wanted to hear from. Right. And just addressing some of the misperceptions. I think there's, you know, her naysayers say, you know, it's all grandstanding. You know, there's always a press conference. You're in it for the money. Just like, let's address these like things, which I'm not saying. I'm just saying like, you know, this narrative is out there. What do you say to that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes <laughs> which you're just like, please don't shoot the messenger, Gloria. Right. She was one of the ones where I was like, I better behave myself during this particular interview because yeah. I mean, you know, with my law degree and everything, I mean, I am All right. Gloria, yeah. Gloria Allred could eat me for breakfast. And but I you know, know, the how come like there's a lot of male lawyers who are out there? They're always having press conferences. They're representing like, you know, they take the big cases. It just feels like that's a very competitive field as well. And like, you know, they're always just and sharp and doing the press conference, and no one says a thing. They go, well, that's his lawyer. Of course, he's having a press conference. That's so, a good point. I think like there's a there's always that double standard. We're not used to seeing women do what men do constantly. <laughs> That's a good point. No, I just I think I was in awe. I mean, I said at the end, I yeah. was like, I'm just so in awe of you. <laughs> like, I don't know how yeah. this has happened here today. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she was great. Do you, you know, do you have any ideas where, you know, your character from Melrose would be like, where would Joe be to, if there was a reboot? Where would she be today? Do you think about this, Daphne? She would have done, she would have done a lot of trauma recovery, <laughs> trauma therapy, um, maybe still in it and maybe not I mean, it is Melrose, so probably not have completed it successfully. So she's, um, you know, you have to be still a little uh, messed up from those years, I would have to say. Um, but I feel like uh, she would be, well, so she would have been a career, pursued her career. But then, of course, she did have that child and gave him up for adoption. So I don't know if she would have sought him out to meet, you know, to meet him or if he would have come to meet her or, and what that would have been like. Um, I relate to Joe in that aspect of not necessarily seeing life as I have to get married and have kids at all. I was always like career and I didn't get married until 
three or four years ago. I mean, we were together for 15, but um, still I was in my fifties or forties when we got together. But my point is um, Joe, I think is like that, especially after all the guys that she went through there and this horrible relationships, I think she's gun shy. And um, I just don't see her living in the suburbs, married with kids. And, and yet if she showed up like that, there's, that could be cool because there's, she, she wouldn't last for long. I think, you know what I mean? Like, cause those years that you, I think they informed all those characters. Like they had an effect. They had to have had an effect. The damn building blew up. You know what I mean? They were like, I mean, just trauma after trauma. So it'd be interesting because yes, it was a heightened drama show. So there's this, uh, you know, it wasn't your basic straight drama it was like a nighttime soap they called it so it's yeah uh, so but it would be fun to merge that with uh and i think it would be funny to merge it with like it's not full-on just soap opera i don't know it'd be fun to like nowadays what's now like to really imagine her as a real person so let's say she we meet her and she is living in the suburbs with you know a husband with a with a nice normal job and her two kids and um but what's churning inside of her doesn't can't stay can't do that so that would be a really cool story she has to get back to the apartment building somehow i mean i'm still envisioning this somehow where everyone's living i don't know maybe we could do like a cul-de-sac like knots landing but somehow you guys have to this apartment building has to be part of it i guess totally totally I think Maybe. it was like a vortex, like the Bermuda Triangle. It was like a vortex of just something. Shit went down there. <laughs> it's just somehow we're going to have to have a crazy Kimberly Shaw. I still want a crazy Dr. Kimberly. We don't have to blow up the building again, but something's got to happen yeah, like that. Totally. Anything else that I didn't cover that you want to cover? I mean, I could talk to you for hours. I could talk to you about the concept of fame. I could talk about, I mean, you're going to have to come back. Well, I'll come back and you're, are you going to, oh, you don't know if you're going to come to Pittsburgh. I mean, right now, if you ask me today, I mean, I'm definitely coming. Like I really, you know, I was like, okay, I haven't done a convention in a while. Last convention I did was like, so when I do a convention now, it has to be like yeah. multiple reasons. So like the nineties, they just had this huge nineties convention. Oh, where was that? I think it we, was in uh, Hartford, Connecticut, which yeah. I, 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 I think Melrose is prime for that. Yeah. I think we've, we're going to, we've talked, we've talked to them. Um, but it wasn't, uh, far enough in advance to do that one, but they do other ones. That company does they, other nice ones. They do other ones. They do one every, there's one in Florida in September, but they do one in March every, yeah, they do one in March every year in Hartford, Connecticut. And so like they had big casts, like they had like from 90210, they had like Tori. So it's like one person says yes. And then they like Tori Spelling, Jenny Garth. Is it successful? Is it like a big convention? Packed. Because Packed. like you get, and then Jason Priestley and then Shannon.